it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here and welcome back to another video. Today we're on Westbridge Hills. So I know I said I was going to start on Big Valley Ranch, but I was having some issues with that map and like just all kinds of issues. So then one day I was just starting up a save game on here to kind of mess around on. Figured I'd start doing video on here instead. Um... For a little while because it shouldn't be too much longer until my map is done especially now because i'm going to start like really heavily working on it so um shouldn't be too much longer for that so i'll just kind of walk you through what i've done so far and what equipment we have we'll start off with the machines and go on from there so here we have two olic uh live bottom trailers one black and one white these are for silage and sugar beet harvest because um, we will be doing both of those. This is the duels to the Steiger tractor over here. Um, we have the Load King uh, drop deck trailer hooked to the Cat CT660. Uh, the Thunder Creek, what model is this again? FST990 tr uh, fuel trailer. The New Holland FR850 with the New Holland Cornhead. Uh, we have the Steiger Tiger KP525, which is what the dual trailer is for. Because as you can see, we have the duals on. That is hooked to the Brent Avalanche 1596 grain cart. Uh, then here we have the John Deere 9560RT hooked to the John Deere DB60. Uh, planter uh, if we run back over here on the other side of this we have the uh, PJ gooseneck trailer and then two sets of Doper super B doubles uh, for the grain if we go back up over here get the Ford woo, Ford f250 super duty uh, dually Got that there. Semis, we've got a Kenworth W900 and a Pete 379. Pretty awesome truck. New Holland CR990 with duels and tank extension. We've got the Terra Variant 600 Eco uh, hooked to the, which has the uh, Sugar Beet Overloader, I'll call it, hooked onto it. Then we have the Homer Teradas uh, T440 Sugar Beet Harvester from the Homer DLC. Then uh, my Case 4540 Titan Patriot or Case IH Titan 4540 Spreader <laughs> uh, sitting there. If we go back over here, we've got the headers for the New Holland Combine sitting there. Um, and then we hop over here. So over here, oh yeah, rigid body is my issue here. Need to remove it on this tractor. <coughs> uh, this is a John Deere 6170R with a John Deere front loader and the CSZ um, bale fork. John Deere 7270R uh, T800 feed truck. Kenworth. Manure spreader. I don't know what model that is. Uh, then a T800 dump truck. John Deere 644K payloader with the in game lizard bucket. The dump truck is for taking manure, loading it from the pit, putting it into the truck, or the dump truck, hauling it to the field that I'll be spreading, and then loading this truck up at the field uh, and then we got the John Deere what is it 956 Moco uh, John Deere 864 Baylor I forgot that this merger unfolds so I gotta fix that uh, the Oxbow what model is this again hmm. 
doesn't even say. But the Oxbow Merger. Um, we have 10,000 cows. If you don't believe me, check this out. 10,000. That's $25 million worth of animals. Uh, and then we own every field. So then with the fields, what I've done is I've planted fields um, 19 and 20 down here in grass as well as field 16 is also in grass so those are going to be the main hay fields oh wait 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 five and six up here are also in hay or in grass so those will be hay fields as well so plenty of hay ground for our 10,000 cattle and then we own every single field as well so then here is the last few pieces of machinery uh, Freightliner Cascadia, Seed Express 1260, and then John Deere 9370R and John Deere 1910 1890 Air Seeder. So we're going to be working on planting some wheat. So 16, 20, 19, 6, and 5 were all planted in grass. <coughs> Excuse me. As you can see here. Fields 1, 4, 2, 3, 7, 8, and 9 are all going to be wheat. So all of these 10, 11, 12, and 17 will be barley. 18 and 21 are going to be corn fields for chopping. So we'll be able to fill the bunker at the dairy yard and then also fill a bunch over there as well. Fields 13 and 14 are going to be corn that we combine. And then 15, uh-oh, I have 17 in here twice. Okay, so 10, 11, 12 are going to be barley. And then 15 and 17 are going to be sugar beets. So we're going to get started here. We're sitting here at field 4. Uh, I got my GPS line set up already. So we just got to get going here. Uh, and get started on some planting. <coughs> so I do get some leg in the farmyard because there's so much equipment in one spot, but it's not too bad. This tractor already has an hour on it. Uh, that's just from planting all the grass fields. Took took a fair amount of time, but we got a lot of time left to plant. Uh, see, we're gonna have two, four. We're gonna have six fields that we actually plant with the um, corn planter. Everything else has been with is going to be and has been with this tractor oh, you gotta be kidding okay I guess I know for next time set that down a lot sooner <coughs> so because these fields are pretty much lined up I'm just gonna go straight up and down all the way across because I don't think vehicles go on there very often so even if they do I can stop or else floor it and get ahead of them so I got the 14 meter air seeder I probably should have gotten the bigger one really but oh well we got plenty of equipment plenty of large equipment as well so we should be all good Uh, so I had basically I had cheated in a bunch of money uh, just to kind of get some big equipment and whatnot get going. Uh, so that is why I could afford 10,000 cows. 10,000 head of dairy cattle because well I cheated in 20, 20 million twice and we still have 15 left of that 50. 50 million that I cheated in over the course of all of this so I am going to actually we can 
we can uh, remove a bunch of that now. So the buttons for this are right control left alt and then home but for me I have to press the little FN button because I have two <coughs> two buttons for uh, one key or two functions for one key so come on come on Ooh. so and because the home button turns on the beacons, they just sit there and go crazy while I do that. I like the tires on this tractor, they're pretty awesome. Yeah, like I was saying, hopefully I get my map done, like, fairly soon. I'm hoping to, here over the next couple of weeks, get a lot of stuff done on it. Uh, I mean, in terms of items that are left, there's not a whole lot, but just doing those items, there's a lot of work. Especially in, like, the detailing part of it. Uh, because like the power lines and all that I mean are gonna take a while although you know realistically or like I really don't have to wait until all of that stuff's done but I rather I would rather wait because then it just looks a whole lot nicer I'd like to have every single thing done except for finishing fences when I am starting to play on it because the fences I'm really not at all worried about at the moment because I'm not going to be planting those fields that I don't have fenced. Like I've fenced all of the fields that I'm going to be farming for quite some time. So you know like I did I've been doing some playing on it with the starting machines that we set up in the uh, in uh, video from Tuesday and you know it I probably been playing because I got like six fields and I've been maybe playing for probably almost an hour I'll say half hour to an hour and I've only got like one field done and then like a little bit more of one so I mean it's not like you know in two weeks I'll have gone through those fields four or five times and I'll have a lot of money and be ready to um, <coughs> and be ready to uh, upgrade and whatnot. I mean, especially because when I'm done with the map, it'll have soil mods, so it'll also take a lot more money and a lot more time, uh, which I have to add to the equipment that uh, I'm starting with because I need to throw in the fertilizer spreader and the sprayer that I will be needing. Uh, because, I mean, we can't take care of our soil nutrients if we don't have a spreader and a sprayer. Because we can't, you know, spread our fertilizer, like our N and our PK, and NPK, without a spreader. We can't put lime down without a spreader. And we can't, you know, put down our herbicides or Roundup with, or even water, without a sprayer. So be kind of uh, hard to take care of soil nutrients without that stuff so need to add those in as well and uh, then we'll be all set and that'll be all the equipment for whatever reason all the grain bins rotated some on me I don't get why they always do that like it never fails every single time that I've put grain bins onto a map unless I have bought it in game hooked the hitch to it and pulled it with a tractor it's always rotated and I don't know why but it's not that big of a deal 
they're not it's not like it's hard to get to or anything like that so I mean it's no big deal and no I'm not lifting across here anymore because I don't want to have to be skipping or anything like that or stopping all that stuff so but yeah so just need to I wish I could figure out why the green bins do that because then I could put them the way that I actually want them but it's like this the last time I did them I had the bins in the ground a ways so like they had tipped o a bunch had tipped over but then this time I knew you know when I put them in Giants Editor put a you know bit of a gap in there maybe I have too much of a gap and then when they landed they kind of spun a little bit or something I don't know or else that's just the way that they spawn who knows um, I mean if I really was all you know, gung, gung ho about them being exactly a certain way. I could sit and mess with the XML and figure out, you know, sit and just play with it until I get them right where I want them. But I'm not that awfully worried about it. I'm actually going to leave that down, but I'll turn it off. Uh, but yeah, I'm not that worried about it that I'm going to sit and, you know, screw around with it until I figure it out. The way it is is fine. I mean, as long as I can get in there with the brand auger to unload them, then I really don't care. Because, I mean, the farm king can get onto them no matter what direction they're facing because the hole is smack in the center and it's just a hole. There's no, you know, it's nothing different about it, so. actually moving along pretty fast with this field I'm surprised I mean, we are rolling 10 to 15 miles an hour and we're knocking out about a little over I have my GPS set at what 13 yeah I have my GPS set at 13 because uh, when I did it to have it auto set up it like was way off so um, So I had dropped it down and then now you know we're doing a little bit of overlap but we're not uh, not skipping stuff now so because I had that issue when I was planting the hay fields they uh, it was just being a nu nuisance and uh, <coughs> yeah, I had to do like three times the amount of passes that I needed to so that I need to worry about anyways there's cars coming obviously but they're not gonna be in my way <coughs> and I won't be in theirs so we're all good then everybody's happy I probably should have swapped this track this and the 90 in the 9RT around put the more power on the air seeder and then you know put the one with a little bit less power on the corn planter but <coughs> I like this the way that they're set up you know the setups that I'm running and I mean the uh, this pulls, you know, this tractor pulls the air seeder pretty well. And I know the 9RT pulls the air seeder, the corn planter pretty well, so just leave things the way they are, I guess. It's farm sim, sim you can do anything. <coughs> like, you can pull a, pull a, uh, 
big fuel trailer with a lawn tractor <laughs> if you wanted to. I did that the one day when I was setting up stuff on my map. I uh, forgot to buy a fuel trailer and I was just leaving the dealership and uh, I was hauling the lawn tractor and lawn sprayer to the farm and then I realized oh yeah you know, I need to need to do this so or need to you know get a fuel trailer and so I just hooked it up to the lawnmower and tried pulling it but it the trailer wouldn't fit on the PJ gooseneck and then I real you know then it dawned on me oh yeah this pickup that I'm using has a fuel tank in the box so I really don't need a fuel trailer when this truck can haul fuel so well it doesn't necessarily <coughs> haul fuel it just has a trigger on it so unless unless the scripting on it changed when uh, the creator re-uploaded it to the server but I don't think anything changed in there he did talk about wanting to script it so that it would work but I don't believe that he did so I could be wrong though but I'm quite sure he did not Got two, three, seven, eight, nine. <coughs> two and three shouldn't really take all that long either. Or not that really. Nine is about the one that I expect to take the longest out of all of these fields. Out of all seven fields that I'm planting. But just about half done. So we're moving right along. Helps to have a monster of a tractor. <clears throat> I do wish I knew what the issue was with the R4045. Um, it doesn't like drive control, so, like, using drive control, it's insanely, um, it, like, just bounces all over the place. <coughs> I mean, without damage mod, it's not that bad, but with damage mod, it's a huge pain in the butt because it's always getting damaged. Uh, the creator didn't know what the issue was with it, and he had no idea, and, I mean, if, if he doesn't know, there's no way I would know, so, I just wish that I did, so that I could fix it, might have to message the creator and see if he ever figured anything out with it, because, I mean, it's an, it's, it looks awesome, it's, you know, it works awesome, it's just, got that annoying issue with it so I mean get rid of that issue and you're good as gold
See, I'm going to be recording a few videos of this right now. Because uh, I want to be able to have, like... Like I said in uh, Wednesday's video, I want to have, like, a supply of videos. Um, so that way, like, I'm not worrying about every single day recording a video. So, like, you know, I'll record... I want to get two weeks worth of video recorded. So that means recording five FS15, five mapping, and five FS13. So, I mean, I got a lot of video ahead of me to record, and then also editing it and uploading it. But today, like right now, um, I'm going to record this video, and then I'm going to go record a mapping video, and then go record another FS13 video. So that way I have the rest of this week done. And then I can start focusing on the next two weeks and getting those all recorded. Because I want to make sure that I have, you know, the videos for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday done, ready to go. You know, I want to have them, you know, uploaded and everything, you know. So, so like, as soon as I finish this video, I'm going to record the mapping video and then go and record the FS13 video and then sit and edit all those and then between like today and tomorrow um, you know today being Wednesday so tomorrow being Thursday um, you know get all these videos uploaded uh, which would be you know super nice so then that way I'm not losing days anymore because uh, I really don't want to you know I want to be able to give you guys content every day uh, except for obviously Thursdays which you know is the off day in the new video schedule so <clears throat> so every other day except that day I want to have video up for you six passes holy smokes I don't know if that's actually like realistic or not but or not realistic but accurate I should say <clears throat> I'm not sure if that's accurate it could be heck it might be unless it's counting like double passes double the amount up here or something um, hmm. I guess it must be accurate They're definitely going to need to make a lot of hay and a lot of straw. Um, I'm going to put all of the wheat and barley fields into straw. Um, or like drop the straw on them. And I'm going to bale all of it. I know it's going to make an insane amount of bales. But then I don't have to do it next season. Because uh, then like the next season I can do a little bit more corn. And then maybe like throw some canola in there. And then do a bit more uh, sugar beet as well. So just kind of throw a little bit more into the mix there. We got a card from it. Good, good, good. good. <clears throat> so we're getting close to done here. And we're not going to finish in this video, so... Alrighty guys, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, we'll see where we're at when we start the next one. Uh, probably going to be pretty much where we leave off in this one. Because uh, like I said, i got two others I want to get recorded right now. So, but Anyway guys, that's going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a video. Be sure to check out down below in the description 
for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to my social medias and a bunch of other YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.